In a landmark decision, President Biden signed a new executive action that will prevent and protect 500,000 undocumented spouses of U.S. citizens from deportation. Republicans are pushing back, calling the move a mass amnesty program and in an election year stunt. NBC's Alice Barr has the details from Washington. Alice, good morning. Good morning, Dave. President Biden stressed the migrants will still have to file all the necessary legal paperwork and go through a background check. But Republicans are accusing him of playing politics by trying to have it both ways with a thorny issue. Immigration once again front and center as President Biden announced a new executive action preventing deportation of roughly half a million undocumented migrants who are married to U.S. citizens. These couples have been raising families, sending their kids to church and school, paying taxes. The order offers a pathway to citizenship for already married spouses who've been in the U.S. for at least 10 years, like Javier Quiroz Castro with a wife and two children. All of whom are U.S. citizens and who are counting on me. Until now, those who crossed the border illegally had to leave the country to apply for a green card, waiting years with no guarantee of reentry. There's going to be ch American children tonight going to bed, laying their head on that pillow, knowing that they are free of anxiety because their mom will not be deported. Republicans slamming the plan as an unconstitutional mass amnesty, with former President Trump promising to reverse it if elected. Joe Biden's illegal amnesty plan would be ripped up and thrown out on the very first day that we're back in office. Facing a serious political problem on immigration, President Biden pointing to his recent executive action restricting asylum claims. I did what Republicans in Congress refused to do. I took action to secure our border. Homeland Security officials say illegal border crossings have since dropped from roughly 4,000 to 2,100 a day. And President Biden also announced plans to make it easier for some undocumented migrants who are graduates of a U.S. college or university to get a work visa. Worth noting, all the executive actions are expected to be challenged in court. Dave. All right, Alice Barr, live for us in Washington. Thank you.